fun. Uh, welcome back, uh, everyone. I'm Alfred Lamont Weber, and I'm here with Chris Burris, of course, who is the CEO and founder of uh, C60 EVO ESS, um, the extraordinary company that uh, has pioneered in developing the uh, C60, uh, a, um, a Nobel Prize winning molecule that has now uh, had tremendous, it's been called the miracle molecule because of its antioxidant and multiple effects. And, and we'll get into that uh, in much more depth in this update. And of course, P Patty Greer, who, who is with uh, C60 EVO, uh, is part of the public outreach and who's our colleague uh, in, in the um, crop circle community and, and many of the exopolitics, exopolitics communities. So welcome to you both. Thank you. Um, and Thank you for having us, Alfred. Oh yeah, there's, there's tremendous growing interest. I know that I have a whole list of topics here and you may have those as as well. So, are are there any things that 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 you'd like to bring up be, before we get to some of the topics that that we we happen to have uh, uh, noted? Well, well, Alfred, you were talking about the coronavirus, and I was just saying how it's uh, it's a little bit scary to watch these. Um, you know, we've seen videos or YouTube videos or maybe Netflix specials about pandemic outbreaks and, 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 and how they kind of, the, the big red spots get bigger and hop around the planet. And we're actually seeing this real time. It's a pretty scary, uh, pretty scary time for sure. I didn't know uh, that that province was the, the epicenter for 5G. So, um, I, you know, if it's if it's a, a pure happenstance, okay. Well, that's a pretty interesting happenstance. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's that's a pretty nerve wracking as well. One thing that's important uh, to know about really ESS sixty, like the evolution of C sixty, is ESS sixty. If you want uh, the benefits of the original study uh, and safer for human consumption, you've got uh, a C sixty Evo and the ESS sixty uh, raw ingredient. And, and what's important to note, in the very early days, they actually, this was back in the 90s, they actually recognized in a Petri dish that C60 was able uh, to stop the AIDS virus from reproducing. So uh, a, the AIDS virus epidemic was uh, biggest in the 90s. And even early in its discovery, discovered in 85, Nobel Prize won in 96, um, in its early discovery, they knew that they, they, they did tests and found out that that the presence of C60 with the AIDS virus would actually stop the reproduction of the AIDS virus. And so um, there are absolutely antiviral components to uh, ESS60, uh, anti, uh, and there's also um, uh, um, antibiotic components also, right? The, the core oil is oil of well-known antibiotic. And so from those perspectives, there's potential value uh, in the product relative to whatever, any kind of viral or any kind of bacterial. I'm not saying that it will help in all of them, but it's actually potential that it could impact uh, and, and provide a prophylactic uh, um, uh, help in, in against those viruses or bacteria. Wow, that's very important, uh, important information. And uh, I, I have to have been given uh, a chart uh, uh, of the, the, flu, the, the symptoms of exposure to 5G waves and uh, in, in which they, they show how much they are alike, the exposure to the coronavirus. I'll just list some of them here. Heart palpitations, uh, chest pain, inflamed sinuses, pneumonia, bronchitis, asthma attacks, immune abnormalities, cataracts, and eye damage. It seems to me that both the antioxidant effects and the effects that we know that, uh, that C60 seems to have 
in terms of the positive effects on the eyes that uh, ha having C60 and being taking C60 would offer, you know, reasonably would offer it. Uh, uh, and, and I know that we're just at the beginning of the science on this, uh, protection against, uh, uh, you know, the coronavirus, the 5G, uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on these? Well, yeah, well, I, 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 go, go ahead, Patty. And your, your sound is really low, Patty. Uh, yeah, I'm, my hearing of you guys is really low. Maybe I'll let my fancy microphone go. go. Is that better? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, sorry, sure looks good, but uh, <laughs> I'll have to give you a break today. Uh, when I think of the basic facts of 172 times the power of vitamin C in a spoonful of C60 or in a bottle of C60, you've got a pretty powerful antioxidant. And if we're finding that people are curing very serious things, including cancer with IV treatments of vitamin C, here you've got something you can take on a spoon every day that's got mega antioxidant properties that are so powerful, how could it not help? So when I think of coronavirus, we don't know what's true. In the news, there's such a mixture right now of scary stuff, and uh, some of it is propaganda, you know, but on the other hand, we want to be really well prepared. And I don't want to get a vaccine. I don't want to do a variety of crazy drugs. I want to just take a spoonful in the morning of something that I know works for me. And Chris and I are on wonderful opposite ends of, you know, he's in the science and I'm a testimonial person because I literally tip the bottle. I mean, I, it's not as sanitary as, you know, I'll wipe it off, but I do have a habit of sometimes I'll do my tablespoon in a spoon, but typically if I'm in a hurry, I'll just tip it. I did learn something that I wanted to correlate to the eye healing today because it was a fascinating conversation with a man named Dan who's been posting a lot of positive testimonials. And I started talking to him on the phone because I'm curious, like, how much are you taking? And, and you're really, you know, very positive for the company. And so today he said, um, I napped every day for years and I haven't napped for months maybe twice since I started taking it. You too? I was, so not every day. Uh, I certainly felt like I needed a nap every day, but I can tell you uh, on Saturdays, this is like up through 2017, really it was late 2017 that I started uh, taking the, the, pro, the formulation in earnest. Um, I would, Saturdays were like, wake up, go downstairs, sleep on the couch while the kids watched a cartoon, wake up, have breakfast, go back to the couch. I had two naps before noon. <laughs> wow. that, that was my napping regime. Uh, and I'm just not doing that anymore. I, you know, I may pop myself on the couch and watch TV, but if I did that prior to, to getting on this formulation, I was out. Like I was like, whether I was sitting up or laying down on the couch, I was, I was unconscious. So I, I can, I can wholeheartedly like that's, that's true for me. Yay. Well, the thing that he said today that I found fascinating was, um, and I like talking to C60 connoisseurs. This is my thing now. When I find people that are taking it a lot, Alfred and I talked earlier today. I mean, it's interesting to talk about how you're curing, what you're feeling, what's changing in you. And I said, I've got a real trick for you. If you swish it in your mouth just a few times before you swallow it, you won't have plaque in your teeth, or at least that's happening for me. So he was all excited. He took note. And then... Um, that, that, by the way, that reminds me, I'm going to do my little, I'll do my little swish. I didn't swish today. So I'm going to often do that right now. So then I, he said what he does is he takes it and he puts it under his tongue and he doesn't swallow for a minute. And I thought, wow, that's what they do with homeopathics because of all those, what is it, membranes under the tongue that are receivers for what's, what, so I, you know, we're talking and I just said, okay, I'm gonna go quiet while you tell me a story because I'm gonna put some under my tongue, even though I had just done my tablespoon, a few swishes. So I put it under my tongue and he's talking and all of a sudden my eyes, I felt like my eyes were starting to bulge. It was the only weird feeling I had, but I felt like the energy 
went to my eye muscles behind the eyes and that's where I felt it very strongly. So I'll be curious to do it, you know, a few more times every time I'll, I'd like to experiment rather than just take it down like I usually do. I want to start being conscious enough to hold it under my tongue and see what that does because that makes sense. So we're kind of learning through communicating with other people. Alfred, you got a haircut. Uh, well, that, that, that does happen, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've had long hair for, since I've known you, and all of a sudden you've got a haircut. Well, you, you know, I, I, uh, one of our housemates is a, uh, uh, a very kind of up in uh, hairstylist here in Vancouver, which is known as Hollywood North. And, and so he's, he's, He's hairstylist to many of the uh, uh, visiting, you know, there's a lot of filming stuff. Not that, that my hairstyle is, it's a good one. Is, is anything to write home about. But um, yeah, you know, and, and so it, it, was, it was cold up here for a while. And, and so my, my uh, hair kept me warm and now it's, Spring is starting to spring. I, I, I can see that you have snow. Yeah, it's snow. I turned the okay. camera this way. I thought, you're warm. He's probably hot. I've got oh, snow hot. coming down. So I've just put you guys in the window. And I didn't mean to change the subject from swishing and soaking under the tongue to your hair so quickly. But moving back to you, you were starting to up your game with how much C60 you were taking. Are you noticing any changes? Yes, I am, you know, and, and uh, 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 what I've done is, is, uh, uh, is to slowly move things up because I, I use a little eyedropper and, and each eye, it, it, in the eyedropper, it'll, it'll tell you how much you take. And um, uh, Basically, each eyedropper is about a quarter of a teaspoon. So I have four eyedroppers in, in the morning. It's a full te teaspoon. And uh, I just got a fresh bottle of, of C60 and opened it a couple of days ago. And I feel so, so tremendous. And I'm at a time where I'm really multitasking at a planetary level. And I've got a new book coming out now it's coming out today's february 19th but it's coming out on february 29th which only happens once every four years you know we're in a leap year now oh, so happy leap year so that's that's coming out and i'm managing that and it's coming out in spanish so i'm managing that also and i'll be coming out in french and in Chinese, so I'll be managing that also. And so there's a lot of multitasking coming out. And not only that, on uh, just a few nights ago, we put out a new positive vision for the solar system, looking around uh, through Venus, Mars, and Earth, and putting out Venus, which is a... Um, uh, it's it's probably our most advanced planet in this very targeted solar system. Essentially, I think that C60 is what's going to get our solar system out of its targeted area and and help our Earth, which has been super targeted, collaborate with Mars. And with Venus, I'm speaking as an exopolitician, so we have a special language, you know. But most people just think about Earth, but we think about Venus, about Mars, and about all, all of these other things. So here I am carrying all of these, uh, you know, all of these things, and I have time enough now, switching topics, to ask you about my little papillon dog. These are little dogs, they call them papillons because their ears are like butterflies. You know, they have these hairy ears that look like butterflies. And little, little Seven, his name is Seven, he's about 13 years old, and he weighs about seven pounds. 
And I'm just wondering, I, I want to get him started on C60. And Chris or, or Patty, what do you think an initial dosage is? Would it be like a, an eighth of a teaspoon, a quarter of a teaspoon? What do you think? Well, so I can chime in and just say, um, people, people ask me fairly regularly, like, well, what is the toxicity level? Um, there's not a known toxicity level, right? Uh, in, in fact, we all know, well, it's interesting that if you consume water too fast, it can actually kill you, right? It, it, it gets too much water into your individual cells, your cells start bursting. So even water, which we would say is never toxic, it can actually be toxic. I would say that the toxicity of uh, C60 Evo products is the same as the oils they're in. So how much olive oil or how much MCT oil or how much um, um, avocado oil would you need to consume in order to be toxic, right? Uh, and I think that it's the same. Uh, so there's really not a known toxicity. So you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, I think what you could do, and we've got a, a number of videos of pet owners who actually one of the videos I love is the pet owner puts the food down into this pretty good lab sized dog, which you can imagine is usually like chomping at the bit to like dive into the bowl. Um, and the dog waits, it actually wakes for the owner to drop the other food in the other dog's bowl and then come back and put the C60 Evo formula into their bowl. And then the dog jumps in, right? So the dog's waiting for uh, the C60 Evo formulation. Um, so, you know, I, I would just start with a, and, and I would just start with a dropper, like just put a dropper over the food. It's a pretty small dog, so you could do a half dropper, but what you don't have to worry about is, oh, a dropper, and that's going to be problematic for the dog. Now, I think if you've got much more than a dropper, you might have some intestinal flow through issues, um, but, uh, but you're not going to, it's, you're not going to have any problems with the dog's overall health. Right. What are the what are the typical uh, uh, benefits uh, to your pets, to your dog or to your cat, of them going on the C60 ESS? Have, have you got any feedback on oh, that? My I have a favorite testimonial that just came in a few weeks ago, where this gentleman had been lean a little forward. Uh, we hear you better. Okay. Yeah. How about now? That's much better. So uh, this man had sent us a testimonial, uh, kind of regularly, I'm loving the C60, I feel so much more flexible. And then he starts giving it to his dog, he bought C60 Evo for dogs, and we flavor it with bacon essence, that's why they want it, it smells good. The cat one is flavored with salmon essence. So they asked for it, you know. <laughs> so here we have this guy who starts giving it to his dog, and he wrote us a testimonial, he said, I have two dogs, one is six and the old guy is 12. And he's been really idle, he's been laying around, he doesn't do much. All of a sudden he's running around, he's jumping, he's playing with the other dog and he's finally humping again after six years. <laughs> so I guess if you don't, don't want your dog humping, you don't give him? <laughs> Probably not, it brings back all the life, but that was his comment. He said, my dog's finally humping again after six years. I think that's so, a pretty powerful testimonial, like, wow. Can't make that up and dogs don't lie. Yeah, yeah, they they don't they aren't subject to the placebo effect, so they're not like, oh, I'm taking this X Y Z medication, and therefore I should be feeling this certain way. It's like either either it works on them or it doesn't. Well, it's it's kind of about lubing the lines. I think that when you feel more flexible, we know with people that they have more energy when they take C60 Evo, the ESS60 formulation in any of Chris's uh, companies. It's all ESS60 top quality, which is like putting premium oil in your gourmet car. This yeah. is our gourmet wow. car. This is, this is the one I have here. So yeah. uh, for the pets, it's like humans, I believe, which is when you feel more flexible, you're gonna be more active. And when you're more active, then you gain your um, stretching ability again. And we're hearing that people heal a lot quicker after an intense workout. So now we're finding with dogs, it's the same thing. They're becoming more active and agile when they've been sitting around like an old dog. So it's really good for older pets to kind of bring them back into mobility. I, I'll be looking forward to hearing your doggy 
testimonial next time we do a show. Oh, great, great. Yeah, and you know, just go, going back to the question that, that, that you asked me, uh, without tooting my own horn, I, uh, I'm, I'm kind of a project communication per person. I'm, I'm a futurist. Uh, so I find that my projects are really moving along and they're projects in which I have to multitask and they're generally at, at the global rather than the local level. But I've got uh, some really complex global projects that since, since the beginning of 2020 now are really starting to take off. And it's, it's hard to say, oh, yeah, that's because I'm taking 360, that, you know. But no, I feel a much more integrated and, uh, you know, kind of smoother. And it's like, like if you want to manifest, take C60 ESS. I mean, uh, that, that's kind of the way that I would put it. It's a great manifestation tool. I, I don't know if, if you get my drift, but oh, yeah. you really I, tend I to manifest. Yeah, so we've got one of our distributors who actually it kind of parallels this conversation we're having. She started her dog on the product. She didn't order it for herself. She started her dog on the product and then noticed the difference in the dog. And it was like, well, that's obviously working. So she started taking it and she had taken it. I can't remember if it was four months or some, so it was some number of months, a good period of time. And in her mind, she hadn't really experienced any benefits, right? But one day she kind of slowed down and took stock of her life. She's like, well, actually I'm waking up a little bit earlier. I'm going to sleep a little bit earlier, but if I don't go to sleep a little earlier, I'm not as tired the next day, which can be very subtle. Some people are very like rigid with their sleep. And if they got an extra hour of sleep, you know, it makes a big difference. They notice, right? Uh, I think for most people, like we've all gone a night or two where we've gotten one or two hours more or less sleep. And so if that starts happening after you get on the, the C60 EO formula, then you, it's like, it's not that perceptible. And one of the other things she said, just right in line, like a manifestation is like my closet, <laughs> which is maybe the worst testimonial for a product ever, but my, I cleaned my closet and I cleaned my garage. Those were projects that I'd been, you know, whatever, tossing around for years and now they're done, right? I think, is that parallel to kind of the manifestation that you're talking about, Alfred? Uh, right, you know, all of a sudden things that, that you've been thinking about doing, they start manifesting. You know, because you actually start doing them. And it's like, as I say, C60, the fullerene is the magic molecule. It, you know, it is, it is the 5G, the 5D molecule. The fifth, because it used to be that, you know, people say, oh, when you're in 5D, you're in the fifth dimension. You just think about something and it happens. Right. Well, that's, it's like you smoothly get into your life where it's not that you spend all your time talking about stuff, which, you know, no, you don't spend all, you spend all your time in things, but they happen and it's going, you know, it's happening. Yeah. Move on to the next thing. Yeah. 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 And, and uh, so could you now, now that, Futurist and visionaries like me, or not that I'm, you know, I'm just kind of using words. Yeah. Uh, using these words, could you as a scientist, Chris, tell us what, what may be happening that is creating that? What, what is it the free radicals? What, what is doing all of those effects? Do you well, think? I, th I think, so there's a, there's a number of things that I can push forward. Um, one of them is, you know, the exact mechanisms we don't know. We do know it's an incredibly powerful antioxidant. We know it's an amazing uh, anti-inflammatory, right? So that's, the, and again, not surprising, the original rat study had the rats living 90% uh, longer than the control group. Current medical theories about aging say it's an oxidation and an inflammation process. 
So it's not surprising that this, uh, that this formulation that extended the rat's lives by 90% is a great antioxidant and a great anti-inflammatory. Um, we, we also know that it can cross the blood brain barrier, right? So that can have important pieces. That's where we like the science isn't in yet on, okay, it is crossing the blood brain barrier and it's doing X, Y, or Z, right? We don't, we don't know those things. We do know our most consistent testimonial. And Alfred, you haven't spoke to this, I don't think, and, and, and maybe there's no uh, impact for you, uh, is better sleep, right? So uh, Patty's original kind of testimonial was, I'm, I'm not napping anymore. That's my same experience. If you're getting better sleep at night, guess guess how you feel the next day right so is it five minutes that prior to taking the c60 evo formulation you're sitting at your desk and it's five or ten minutes before you realize oh i need another cup of coffee because i'm not really getting anything done and then you got 15 minutes getting the coffee i drink less coffee like that's i used to drink about i used to make three cups a day because I needed little boosts and I really only drank about half of the second two. So the first one I drank, um, I don't make my se second and third cup anymore. I make my first cup of coffee and then that's it. Then I have tea. This is a, like a, I don't know, a, a pomegranate type tea. Um, so I don't need that caffeine boost. So how much time are you wasting? Cause you're kind of without focus, with a little bit groggy, you don't have that um, mental acuity that you would have when you're sleeping better. So um, I wish I could say, oh, I, well, I can say it does get into the mitochondria and it's in some ways participating in the, those ATP processes. So we can say that, but I can't say, well, and that causes X, which causes Y, which causes Z, and that's why you're getting more done. <laughs> I would say on a personal level, I have detoxed so much uh, naturally by taking C60 that I know that my mind is more clear, my focus is more balanced because I'm constantly expelling toxins. And I have seen stuff come through my skin that would scare most people. Um, two weeks ago, I had a good one. Um, I had a surgery on the side of my leg in October, which is six, seven months ago, and it healed beautifully. And they say that below the knee, really hard to heal. So when I left the surgery, I was just waiting for the pounding pain. Four days later, I called the doctor and I said, when is the numbing going to wear off? Because I'm blown away. It's been four days. And she said, Patty, that was an hour. And I said, I've had no pain. So I was shocked that after a surgery with nine stitches on the inside and 11 on the outside of my skin, and it was a diamond about one by two inches, so it was sizable. And after they sewed me back up, I was so numb. I said, yeah, let me see it, you know, what just left me, and sizable. So absolutely no pain, which was really stunning. And she said the inside stitches will melt away and the outside we will have to remove physically in a month. So they removed the outside once I'm healing beautifully. And all of a sudden, two weeks ago, I start to feel something hard at the end of my beautiful healed stitches and it's coming through my skin. And it kept coming through my skin. I thought, God, is that scaly? skin it's so hard and I kept trying to feel it but I couldn't see it's like on a weird part of my leg that I can't twist that far and so I was with my daughter who does skin professionally and I said would you tell me what's on the back of my leg it's this really hard thing coming out of my stitches and she took her fingernail popped it right out and she shows me in her hand a white stone it looked like a little white rock and it was the size of maybe my pinky nail it wasn't that small and it came through my skin. So I called the doctor's office and went in the very next day. And they explained that most people, the toxins, I mean, the stitches, whatever they're made of, will melt into your body and dissipate. For me, because I've got this C60 war going on with anything toxic, anything, you know, that my body is naturally repelling now because I'm a walking C60 machine. I mean, seriously, I'm laughing at how much I take. And um, the fact that what it was, was she called it a spitting suture. And everything I asked her, she said, well, in all my decades of being a doctor, I've only seen this a few times, all these things that I went through, like no pain. 
really <laughs> rare, but she has heard it twice before that people after a double surgery of stitches didn't feel anything. I, I still don't get it, um, how that could have been pain free. I have another friend that takes a lot of C60. She just had a major hysterectomy and afterward pain free. Now, I've been talking to her for months and I thought, oh man, she's gonna have the hardest go. She's stunned, stunned, pain free. So I don't know what's going on in the mitochondria, in the blood brain barrier that's helping us um, deal with pain in a different way, but boy, that was shocking. And the fact that my body spit out the sutures rather than melted sutures that uh, normally uh, melt, dissipate into most people, I found that absolutely fascinating that my body is that strong now that it just said absolutely not and put it in this little tight ball that felt like a stone and sent it through my skin. And when she took it out, she said, wow, there's a little hole at the end of your stitches. So I just kept putting on the C60 and it closed right up. By, by the way, it dawned on me, and I know we're talking hypothetical, et cetera. It's just very important to share uh, with your audience, Alfred, that you know the FDA hasn't evaluated the product. It's not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease. Um, and you know we're not we're we're not stating that if you get a similar surgery, your skin will become a, a spitting suture. <laughs> also, we're just sharing with you uh, experiences either that we have in writing um, or that we can actually contact people or about ourselves. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that, that's a very important uh, thing to, to uh, state. Uh, there's a related point which uh, came to me and uh, it came to me because I, I was on Facebook and somebody sent me in a private in, in, in a private message, a link to a C60 company, and they said, oh, if you have the money for this, you really should try this C60, um, uh, because you know it's gonna be amazing. And, uh, and so I began to uh, think about, and, and, and the person really did not have the grasp of the science, I think, that I've experienced that uh, C60 EVO ESS has, because it goes back the 20 years involved in the, uh, in the tests with the Nobel Prize and in supplying the industry and 99.99% purity. And uh, uh, with uh, C60 now becoming kind of a buzzword in certain sectors and with an unregulated marketplace out there and then with people kind of sending you emails about C60 and there's no real objectivity in the marketplace. And so it occurred to me uh, uh, in you know interacting with this person, I, I immediately sent them uh, a link to C60 EDO, and then things just kind of stopped. But uh, that uh, you you have people who really are seeking. You know, I've heard about C60 and are seeking, and they may be you know there may be eight to 10 potential sources out there, and how, how are they going to choose? And I think that that's, you know, every industry goes through various stages. And so what are your thoughts? And, and, and C60 EVO has been very, as I understand it, very, systematic and rigorous in its science since its inception. And so how, how would you, what are your thoughts about getting that part of the message out to the public and to the consumers about how to choose and why they should 
yes, C60 is good, but you should really choose carefully which companies you're going to and which products you're going to choose. Yeah, I, I think, um, that, well, the first thing to add is you should choose carefully because you're putting it in your body. Like um, the process for refining uh, pure C60 does involve solvents. And if you're dealing with a company that doesn't have the expertise, doesn't have the know-how, or maybe doesn't have the pedigree or the history to deliver a quality product, a non-quality product means a product that includes solvents. And, and that's really kind of scary for me. It's one of, uh, one of the reasons that we speak with two kind of hats on. So there's the one hat, which is C60 is great for industrial applications. It's actually harder than a diamond. It turns into a diamond. Um, it's got six fold symmetry. Uh, it actually acts like a, um, like a, uh, it, it has quantum behavior. I mean, it's an amazing molecule for industrial applications. And if you process it improperly, uh, there's peer reviewed published research that says it's dangerous. Uh, that's C60. ESS60 is where you take C60 and you process it and refine it so that it's safer for human consumption. And now you're dealing with, uh, with what is, is safer to put in your body. Like that's the, that's, and again, at the end of the day, it's going in your body like how, what kind of risks, if you're looking for a less expensive product, what, like, what are you really getting if it's a less expensive product? If you're just looking for, I can tell you, I, uh, I did a podcast recently with a very well-respected scientist and he told me he was taking C60 and he told me the company he was taking it from. And I told him this story and I was like, let me share this story with you. It's actually a testimonial and it's a very weird one. So bear with me here. So somebody reached out to us. It's not a testimony. It's actually an interaction that I had. Somebody reached out to us and said, Hey, I'm taking this product. We'll call it product a, and I'm considering taking this product product B. Uh, what do you think of product B? By the way, neither one of the products were my products. It was somebody else's product A and somebody else's product B. And what I said is, well, product A, that company, we used to sell them C60, but they weren't buying the right C60. They were actually buying C60 that had solvents. And when we realized that they were putting those solvent laden C60 into oils and selling it to people to consume, we stopped selling to them, right? So this is what I told that person. So those people I wouldn't buy or ever put in my body. And those other people that you're buying, there's all sorts of problems with their labeling. It doesn't, like it makes me nervous. Um, and by the way, if you're asking me, uh, then you tr obviously trust me, you probably should just become a customer. Uh, so there's, there's, you know, it, there's challenges, unfortunately, in this industry. And, and the problem is, is we're in a supplement industry. And if that means you're putting it in your on or in your body. And so your your rigor in identifying a good company, a company that you trust has to, it can't just be like, oh, they're probably as good, right? Because you're putting it in your body. It's got to be, let me talk about kind of our pedigree. We've been manufacturing carbon nanomaterials since 1991. When we sell materials into research institutions, unlike in the supplement industry, when we sell into research institutions, not only do they have the know-how, they also have the equipment to test what we're selling them. So guess what they do first when we sell them a product and deliver it to them? They take their grad students and their PhDs and they run it typically through an HPLC and they confirm that what we sold them was what we promised. That's in our pedigree. What we, what we deliver is what we promise we're gonna deliver. Um, if you look in the supplement industry, if anybody's just getting in this industry because they're like, like you said, Alfred, C60 is a buzzword and clearly I could put a product out there and, and make some money. Um, but do they have the pedigree? Like they have never sold to customers who ha are in a position to test and confirm the quality of their own products. And, and so I think that's, that's one of the perspectives that, that you need to have if you're looking around for the right product. Really, ESS60, C60 process for safer human consumption. Right, that's, that's, that's very well said. Uh, Patty, do you have any, any thoughts along the, the, these lines? Uh, I do, yes. Like that or? 
when I started working with Chris and Robert, who own SES for 29 years, I learned so much and I started asking them questions that maybe they hadn't been asked before because I'm not scientific, but I'm taking so much that I want to know I'm doing it right. So I said, you know, I've been taking another company's coconut oil for a year and a half and really quite impressed. And uh, we started testing the coconut, avocado, and olive oil. And I learned that the olive oil holds more than twice as much C60 as coconut oil. No matter how long you stir it, your coconut oil, MCT organic or chief synthetic, is only going to hold 0.35 milliliters per milligrams of C60 in the bottle, in your spoon, it's only gonna hold 0.35, whereas olive oil holds 0.8, avocado 0.6. And I was working down a nice big bottle of C60 Evo avocado oil because, you know, I thought it was a matter of taste. Which oil do I wanna taste? Which one do I think will make my skin happy? And then when I learned about the olive oil, no contest. So every time we get an order for coconut oil, I feel like I want to write the person and say, with all due respect, <clears throat> I would just want to tell you that you'll get more than twice as much uh, C60 from us if you buy the olive oil. But again, a lot of people have different tastes. They prefer the coconut or whatever. But I think it's important for people to know, had I known two years ago, I would have never done the coconut oil. On the other hand, maybe it's why my intestines cleared so beautifully. It could have been the coconut oil was the exact medicine I needed. And now that I'm ready to really buzz out my brain balance again and really maximize my systems now that I'm kind of reprogrammed, which is what I feel like I've done with C60 compared to the path that my health was on with the toxins that we're dealing with in the world, plus my work attracted some pretty challenging situations to my health, but the C60, I, I even spit out my sutures. So I'm feeling really powered up. And I also am blown away that olive oil holds that much more and we're the only ones talking about it. So in my opinion, it's one of the more important facts that people should know that are interested in taking C60. Take it in olive oil. Now, we hear of saf uh, sunflower oil and black seed oil and capsules and all these different ways to deliver the C60. Chris just started testing a lot of products. Do you want to talk about any of your results that you've seen? Well, so I certainly can just, what we, so I've got concerns in the industry. We've looked at different products and, and they don't seem to conform to the labels, right? Um, I know that we're kind of a champion in this. Well, we are the champion in this industry. Our, our company, uh, our product was used in the original rat study that created this industry. And actually our company is mentioned in that original study. So we're definitely the champion of this industry. I also believe that um, it, it's damaging to the industry to just come out and say, this is bad and this is bad because everyone's going to say, well, you're just saying that because it's competition. So I'm I'm, I'm trying to figure out the right way to share information with people. What I can share, and there's, there's pieces that I certainly can share, and I've got videos that talk about this. And the, the three things that I'll talk about like, with no hesitation, again, I've got videos. One of them is there's a product on Amazon. It's activated charcoal and says potentialized C60 on it. Well, I don't know what potentialized C60. Maybe it means potentially there's C60 in here uh, and the owner doesn't know. Uh, but it turns out we did a test and there's no C60 in that. So people, this goes back to the, the bandwagon and all sorts of people are jumping onto this. Uh, also, I, I found a, a capsule based product on Amazon. So they've got little capsules and I did a calculation from their, from their own concentration level and then their own amount per pill. Their recommendation was that you take two peel, pills daily. Well, that's about one tenth of a dose, right? So, uh, the big concern is like somebody hears this bandwagon and they hear C60 and they go and buy these pills and they take two pills and they don't really feel anything. And then they tell all of their friends that C60 doesn't work. 
Uh, again, stay focused on ESS 60 and you won't have that challenge. Uh, so I'm concerned about that particular thing. I haven't done a video on that one yet. I'll, I'll probably do one uh, for that soon. And then there's other there's one other product on the market you mentioned sunflower seed oil it's in sunflower seed oil which is by the way from a health perspective is one of the worst oils uh that you can consume uh but for whatever reason they decided to put really carbon junk in sunflower seed oil i did a video you can find it on on our website on our youtube channel uh and basically i showed that there is actually no c60 in this product that they're literally saying uh, there is C60. Now you might be wanting like, okay, I'm bad mouthing people in my industry. And I just said, I don't like to do that. The crazy thing is, is this guy's not in my industry, right? He's claiming to be in my industry. He's claiming that he has C60, but he does not have C60. And it's actually uh, very easy to prove that he doesn't have C60. And so that's why I'm comfortable like sharing those, those particular experiences. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other data. Um, uh, I'm definitely concerned that there are consumers out there who are consuming product that don't have uh, as much uh, C60 as, as they think they're taking. Just like I think it was, it's very irresponsible for companies who have you know, sold this purple MCT oil for a very long period of time and not shared with their clients that has less than half of the C60 that, that can be dissolved in olive oil. I think that's irresponsible. Um, and so I have concerns about the industry in, in, in general. Um, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with that information. I, I, uh, I, I, it, it may be that we send everything off to a third party and let, you know, maybe put together some consortium that, that does that because um, I, not only in the instances where I know people are defrauding the consumers, I think it's a lot more widespread. In fact, there was a recent video, uh, there's a supplier of quote unquote C60 in the UK, uh, and he came out, he sent the product off to a, 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 an organization that knows how to work with fullerenes, uh, and it was tested to not have any fullerenes in it, or C60 specifically, but really no fullerenes. Um, so like there, this, this bad stuff, unfortunately, is happening. Um, and I, 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 you know, as the champion of the industry, we will do something. I just don't know exactly what that's going to look like. Yeah, I, I would uh, uh, really applaud those particular efforts. I mean, just putting on my my hat as as um, as a public interest attorney and having watched over the years the the ways that uh, regulators tend to jump in at unexpected times, you know, when markets behave that, 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 that way. I think that some of the suggestions that you just mentioned in terms of a third party and acting that way is very, 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 very salutary. Um, I, I was looking on the, on the C60 Evo um, website, and and uh, it, it seems to me that that a person who's looking for kind of a, a health maintenance type of situation, there's a thing called a subscription. Mm. What what exactly is that? How does that work? Well, if you sign up <clears throat> for a subscription, we do encourage people because uh, you get twenty percent off right off the bat. And every order, you get 20% off with a subscription. So um, it, if once you sign up, you put in your credit card, uh, you get your first order right away. And then every month on that same date, you'll get another order of C60. And you don't have to call in, reorder. And if you don't love it, you just send us an email and we cancel you immediately. It's an easy process and people are saving money that way because it is expensive. And it's worth it to us to offer that discount to make it easy for the customer, but to keep a consistent um, delivery so that people can actually enjoy the benefits for a good length of time. You know, a lot of people, they don't remember that their knuckles were hurting when they stopped hurting. They don't remember that their neck has been stiff for six years when all of a sudden it isn't. So when we hear people say, I don't feel anything, I don't notice anything different, I don't like to put thoughts in their mouth, but my physical therapist, I said, are you sleeping better? And she said, 
well, not really. And I said, are you taking it before noon? She said, no, I take it right before bed. And I said, I told you when I gave it to you, you have to take it before noon, preferably before noon, because it gives you energy. So um, it's a good idea to kind of, it's so basic what you need to know to take C60, ESS60 formulation. Number one, it's a teaspoon or a tablespoon, depending on how much you want and um, how big you are, but also to take it before noon, preferably with food, kind of like CBD, the food stimulates it. Now I did hear in the past, I used to promote that you wanna eat an apple a day with C60 because the hydrogen has some kind of a good interaction. Chris, can you talk about that as well as what does ESS60 stand for literally? Yeah, so um, first off, the hydrogen in the apple, uh, there's no research that I've ever seen, right? So, so I, I, we, again, our pedigree is science, so we tend to talk science. Um, and so when there are things that I know, like the rats live 90% longer, we'll share those things. Uh, when there's uh, anecdotal information, like uh, I, I sleep better, uh, then I'll share you, with you that that's anecdotal information, that that's not something that's really been evaluated. I'm I think there's a lot of people saying a lot of things that they don't know for sure. Um, and, and to be fair, this is an anecdotal world. The anecdotal world is, is a part of the scientific process. Nobody just starts some random test. They usually have some sort of experience and they have a theory about that experience. And then they do a test and now they uh, kind of either concentrate their hypothesis or they move on to another hypothesis. In our case, the theory was that it was toxic. Clearly it was not. The rats live 90% longer. Um, and, and, and so now we're dealing in an anecdotal world where, where people are providing information. And so is it possible that somebody's taking the, the C60 Evo formula and eating it with apples and actually feeling more? That's certainly possible, and that's anecdotal information that we should take into account. Um, I, as a scientist, would be very uncomfortable saying, oh, you need to eat this with apples because that's going to be beneficial to you for some reason that isn't documented, isn't researched, uh, and, and I, don't, I don't have any evidence to prove it. Um, I'm, I'm very uncomfortable with that. Yeah. What about food and C60? Um, so in reality, the, the product, the C60 Evo formulation is, is in olive oil or in MCT oil or in uh, avocado oil. Those are foods. Uh, so if your stomach's okay with food, with those oils, right? And you were talking about a teaspoon. I tend to, so my, my morning routine or my daily routine with uh, ESS 60 is uh, I use our MCT product in my coffee. So there's a, a, a whole kind of bulletproof movement that involves MCT and, and some uh, A2 butter. So basically I get, kind of get my bulletproof groove on uh, with a little bit of our MCT product in my coffee. And then I'll take about a teaspoon and a half, which is about a half higher dose than, uh, than a, we typically recommend. So I take about seven and a half mils. Um, if I'm getting tired in the day, I'll take more. And then I actually use our, I like to use our avocado product. Um, you mentioned taste. I like to use it on, on my salads and I eat a lot of salads. So I'm taking a lot of avocado uh, uh, product. That's, uh, so some people, if you're uncomfortable to answer your question, Patty, if you're uncomfortable with a teaspoon of oil on your stomach, then yeah, just you know, pretend you're at a fine Italian restaurant, get some bread and sop it up as long as you're on a, not on a zero carb diet, right? Sop it up in the bread and, and eat the bread and, and you're good to go. So if you do have some um, stomach issues with the oils, there's, you can mitigate that with food pretty easily. And what does ESS60 stand for? So it's elemental safe, safe spheres, right? So we know that, and in fact, I've got this model uh, back here behind me. So we know uh, the, the carbon 60 has like a soccer ball shape and I'm holding up for those who are just listening. I'm holding up. Um, imagine a, a chemistry student and his chemistry set uh, decided to make a soccer ball. So, so if you imagine the soccer ball, the lines on the soccer ball represent the bonds between the carbon atoms. So you got the spherical molecule of, of carbon. Um, and, and so I've got this model and in describing and Turning over the model, I forgot the question. 
<laughs> SS60 standard. Oh, so it's elemental, right? So it's elemental carbon. So the only thing in this molecule is carbon. Those, like, it's not like benzene where there's hydrogens attached or anything. It's just all carbon. Uh, they're safe, ESS, uh, and they're spheres, right? This is a spherical molecule. It's actually, I think I mentioned earlier, has six fold symmetry. So there's six planes of symmetry. It's the most symmetrical mole chemical molecule that there is. Awesome. So, well, you know, we're we're uh, coming up uh, to to the sixty minute mark, and it's and it's amazing how time flies by because the the information that that we share here I, I I find to be just so vital and so cutting edge. I mean, everything from we're talking about the pan pandemics, we're talking about you know, pets that we share our, our lives with. But I'll, I'll share mine, my kind of par parting thought, and, that, and then I'm just going to ask yours for our audience. And, and that is, and, and, and this really just occurred to me right, right in the middle here of the program, the special relationship that I have to the fullerene and why, why is he 60 personally? And what came up in, in my memory was the time that I flew out to the University of Cincinnati to be with Buckminster Fuller and in the taping of an episode of the World Good News Network. And here we are with c60evo.com, ESS, uh, in the with the molecule that's named after fullerene, after him, and we're all, you know, uh, sharing this and sharing the information. And as I've mentioned before, you've been so generous because C60 EVO ESS is a sponsor of Exopolitics TV and News Inside Out, which is a world good news network. So think about that synchronicity. That was back in the 80s. And here we are. That was 40 years ago. Yeah. Isn't that an amazing cosmic synchronicity? Doesn't that kind of, it blows my mind anyway, you know? No, it, it's, it's very cool. It's, <laughs> you know, it, and, it and I say, wow, I'm really into C60 in a deep multidimensional way. <laughs> For 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And so I just wanted to, to say that and to share with our, with our audience once again that um, C60 EVO is a sponsor of Exopolitics TV and, and our network, and uh, they've been generous enough that 15% of everything that, that you buy and, and, and consume uh, is shared with us, and that sustains our message. It's very practical because now in 2020, all of these books and messages that are going out worldwide that are getting tremendous reviews in English, Spanish, French, Chinese, that is all being financed by uh, this sharing. I mean, it really is in action. I, I'm just doing, and so when you do buy, and I, and I urge you to use your subscriptions, it's really quite, you know, because then you get the 20%. Use a special code, which is A-L-W-S-P-E-C. That's A-L-W-S-P-E-C. A-L-W is Alfred Lamont Weber, so, you know, it just works really easily. But uh, so I just want to say that there's a lot of depth and multidimensionality here, and as you would say, synchronicity. So I think that... You know, of course, I'm extrapolating, but I think this is a planet saver. I think it's a solar system saver, but that's just me. I tend to think really positive. Globally, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and right, yeah. and uh, universally. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. that's, that, that's kind of my, my message. And so I'd like to turn it over, over to you, um, Patty or Chris, please. Well, let, let me just throw in, because so, I think Patty will take us home. Um, you were talking about subscriptions earlier. There are subscriptions for pets also. So I just wanted to throw that in. I don't know if Patty was going to mention that. Oh, I'm glad we have them available. 
we have, um, I think we're the only company doing gift sets also, because at Christmas we ran specials where we put a collection of bottles in a box and save you money there. So um, we are more than happy to, um, you know, share the, the store on our website is pretty huge. We have um, dog lover set, which has a bottle for you, do bottle for your dog and there's a discount. Cat lover set, pet lover set. And then there's the sampler set where you get three bottles in a box, save $35. And you can try the three different flavors and find your own rhythm of which one works for you, which one's better for work that gives you more energy, which one might be good on your skin. I mean, I, I rub it on my skin and I'm using the coconut oil now that I know it's for me, it doesn't have enough C60 in it, um, I'm using it on my skin. And I am watching my skin peel, like a layer of my face has been peeling and it's detox. It's not hurting my skin. I think it's just moving everything to the surface to heal. I cannot believe what has shifted in my, my body and I'm home a lot. I live in the woods, as you can see in the mountains. And um, I've got a bobcat who comes by and visits now. So my life is nature and healing. So a lot of people are so busy in city, in the town, going out to dinner, drinking cocktails, phones, texting. I don't have that life anymore. I have a really quiet life in nature, but I've also been very much tested in the last nine months, having to heal from being poisoned by radioactive materials. One more test of, oh my God, how much can this body take? And I feel stronger than ever. And I realized that karmically, there is something that helped me to grow as a person by being tested again. And it helped me to actually upgrade from the coconut oil, a different company, to being able to work with the masters that have the lab. It's, I believe it's probably the only real C60 lab in America that's doing everything start to finish. I'm so proud to be working with Chris and Robert and that we have only ESS60 going out, but it's all made there. Their uh, machine that makes the S ESS60 formulation, the actual carbon powder is right there in the lab. And then they're mixed with the organic oils right there in the lab. And they're actually packaged and shipped in from the lab. So it all happens in one place. And when people say, oh, lab science, you know, now nah, that doesn't sound natural. Well, you know what, sometimes you have to go with a scientifically produced molecule to be able to create miracles in your healing. And all I know is my personal testimonial. I'm just constantly blown away that I have a new personal testimonial almost every week where I can just say basically, holy crap, you can't believe what came out of me this week. So I am probably the greatest voter that Chris could have shown up to uh, partner up with because I am constantly bragging about the benefits of really <clears throat> good quality ESS-60. Everybody around me is sick and they all have a Christmas bottle. It's like, are you taking it every day? Double up. Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, that's why you're sick. I mean, you've got a bottle, use it, take it. And it's funny, you know, when you've got this golden gift that some people don't realize how easy it is to heal. In my opinion, this stuff's a gold mine. And I don't just mean for Chris and I and, you know, selling it. I mean for people to be able to put something in your body that you don't have to worry about um, and you're going to feel it. So I, I'm just applauding what we're doing. I feel really lucky to be selling something that is guaranteed to be safe uh, in a world where we have so many questionable, unfortunately, C60 sellers. What I care about is I don't want to lose the integrity of the industry because people are buying products with really low concentrations of C60. If there's only a teeny amount and they're sending it around to a lot of people, the reputation of how great it is will collapse. That's not what we're doing. So I do encourage people not for the sake of business, but for the sake of buying the best stuff on the market, c60evo.com and um, subscription will, will uh, start you off at a better price. And um, if you love it, you don't have to think about it. It just comes every month.
The other thing we do that's a huge discount is if you buy a case with a few friends or if you decide you don't want to run out and you're worried the world's going to come to an end, that's 25% off. So when you talked about your um, personal code, you forgot to mention that your audience gets a 5% discount. So if they use your initials A L Alfred A L W S P E C for special, so it's A L W special S P E C, they'll get 5% off the already 20% one time. And Alfred will get the 15% donation from the company toward his um, exo politics. And you said we've been doing a pretty good job financing. Uh, your book's coming out and all these things because you have done an amazing job giving Chris and I the space on your show, plus really encouraging your audience who's watching you look better, yeah. be more clear. I mean, the difference in you is remarkable. And you and I have watched each other for five years. Can you honestly see the difference in me? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're both like, uh, you know, moving through time and space in a different way, you know? Yeah. And uh, uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's quite startling in a way. <laughs> it really is. And then there's Chris who looks like he's 35, but he's 50. So I think that we are doing some anti-aging, some um, age regression, but we are three testimonials right here. And when I read the testimonials from your last show, people were complimenting how we look compared to how we used to look, mainly you, because it's your people that have been watching your show, but the testimonials were really consistent. And one person talked about this, this um, fear tactic, Tony, somebody that goes on YouTube and he said all these terrible things to scare people. And somebody wrote and said, yeah, have you seen his teeth and his skin? Now look at Chris Burris. Who do you want to buy from and trust? So really, in my opinion, it's new enough on the market that we are the living testimonials for C60 Evo, ESS60. And, you know, I think that seeing is believing. And for me, I don't want to hear sales pitches. I want to see people healing. And we are. You know, I, I just thought that this is the ultimate test of that adage, you are what you eat. <laughs> you know? Yep. Really, because look, Buckminster Fuller was a genius. I mean, when I was in the presence of Buckminster Fuller, I can tell you, I knew I was in the presence of a genius. And C60, the Fullerines were named after him, right? I mean, and so he, he knew what he was saying. And so when you're eating Fullerines, you are what you eat. And it's not only the outside, the change is inner. It's a real inner change. And I can tell, you know, I'm making testimony. You know, I, I can testify, I'm testifying that the change <laughs> is inner. It's an inner change. And that's why I say it's, it's, it's about the transformation of the planet. And I really believe that as well. Yay. So. Cool. Well, thank you so, so much for taking time to come on to Exopolitics TV. And we really appreciate everything, all the information that you brought, that you've made this transformation possible for our viewers and for the world. Uh, and we look forward to you joining us again. Alfred, thank uh, you so much for having us. Oh, totally. So... C60, evo.com, and ALWSPEC, and get your subscriptions, and we're transforming the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So.